morning everybody it's Friday December 6th uh, I'm on line here waiting for the ferry so I thought I'd come on and do a quick little video here and chit chat with you while I'm on my way over to the mainland working again but I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the bay. It's pretty calm today. There's the Bay of Fundy. It's pretty calm. If you look around this way. As you can see, as you can see, I'm driving down here on the ferry, and it's a cold morning. It's minus three. It's warmed up a whole two degrees, and that's Celsius for those of you who are in the States. Um, and this is a Johnny Rigby that I'm getting on. This is our spare boat. Um, one of our other ferries. We have two ferries that run on the hour, and this one here is our spare ferry. The other two are the Princess and the Abnaki 2. One of them is putting some work done on them. So here I go down onto the boat. I think I'm going to be the last one on. I'm going to be the last one to make it. So people behind me ain't going to get on. So here we go. And we're squeezed on the boat. This one doesn't hold as many cars. It's the other one. All right, I'm gonna turn me around now. Okay, so I'm back on the boat here. I mean, back on the camera this way, and I'm on the way over to the mainland. Last time this week, because uh, tomorrow's my last day working, and I get a day off. But as I've said in the previous video, we've been working six days a week. We just had a couple of new clients added. So the schedule's getting pretty full. I hope this is all overtime. But I'm trying to get uh, up to the schoolhouse there to get everything moved out. I talked with the real estate agent this morning that dropped some more papers off to her. And she said that she had told them to be flexible about us emptying out our workshop because she, it's full. Barb has stuff in there from when she sold her house, plus we have all the stuff that we had from when we moved up here that's still in four years hasn't been unpacked. But, um, I'll show you what I'm working on. I'm still working on the elf coat. I will, I will say that my attention is getting better with this Tunisian crochet, and I'm really, really enjoying it. It goes pretty fast. Um, this, the, the Tunisian knit stitch is pretty easy. You know, you take your forward pass, and then the return pass is always the same. You chain the first one, and then you go through uh, two, over and pull through and you do that all the way to the end and you back again uh, so that means one row consists of a forward pass and a back a return pass and I'm hoping to be able to find time not that I'm like some expert because I'm not I'm like very very basic basic beginner on Tunisian but if I could show you turn the camera on and show you how I how um, I learned to do it it might entice somebody to try it, to try it because I see a lot of beautiful um, projects out there to be done with uh, change of crochet and those that um, crochet but don't knit but like the looks of knit can get that with Tunisian and uh, without having to learn how to use you know um, knitting needles whether it be straight needles in the round or DPNs um, double point needles but. I am really, really into it. And of course, I'm trying to get a vlog done where I do have a pile of whips and finished objects to show. But it's just getting the time in the evening, the shorter staying up till midnight. I don't have to get up at 5 o'clock to go to work. Um, but I just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody and 
let you know that I am still here. Um, I was going to explain it in a in my finished objects whips video, but I'll just say I'll just tell you here because I'm on I'm on the camera here. I'm actually not looking, you know, going to ride across. The main reason that I have, had been off of YouTube was the trip home from mom and then her funeral, and then the trip back here. And once I got back here, it was discombobulated for a few days. You know, just um, it wasn't expected. So. Coming up on the holidays, I'm missing her because Christmas was always very big to her. I mean, there were seven kids in the family, and coming from a big Italian family, it was a big, big celebration for us, the family getting together. And that's what Christmas is all about. That's how I was raised. It's about the birth of Christ and the family getting together and having food and, and presents. And, 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 but it was just the family being together that was important. And that's why we have the community tree lighting here on the island a sense of family, because there are some people that don't have any family, that don't have anyone, so you want to spread the spread the feeling of, of family, and just, you know, as Jane's, uh, Jane says, be kind, choose to be kind, choose to be nice, um, spread the love, um, and it's just not the yarny love, it's just, you know, doing something nice for somebody, it's a year-round opportunity for you to do something nice for somebody and it, and it, it's probably so nice it makes you feel and it's and to be done without uh, accolades recognition just do it out of the goodness of your heart for all you know that may be the only act of kindness that person will see all day or all month or even all year so I try to treat people the way I want to be treated and I always feel that there's somebody worse off than me that has less than I do. So that's why I try to give back, give back to the community, give back to just people in general. Um, not rich, uh, but sometimes it doesn't cost you anything. I mean, a half hour sitting and chatting with an older person who has no family is lonely. You would be surprised what that half hour means to that person. I deal with it every day at my work.
my tablet hit the dust. So I would have to be able to upload to the computer and I'm still learning how to merge videos onto one video. I'm getting better at it and I downloaded a program that's called Filmora and I have another one called Wondershare. I'm still trying to integrate the programs and you know, better. if I upload from my phone, I haven't quite learned how to put two videos together on my phone. So that's all new to me. So, yeah, I'll just do part one and part two because I think the beginning of this, this is the very, very beginning. I'm about to tell you who I was. Man, oh boy, I really am rambling. I'm Antoinette. I'm from Two OGs, so I'm stitching. I'm with you from Deer Island, New Brunswick. Right now, I'm in the middle of the Bay of Funding. And this should have been at the beginning of the video. I want to thank all of our returning sub subbies and, and our new subbies. We are at 99. Uh, which means 100, I will come on and the video I come on and say we are doing a giveaway is the video that I will pull the comment from. Um, down below, I will put contact information. I still have to make up an Instagram for Hopkins 2OGs. Uh, I do have a personal Instagram. And I'll just have to go and make one for 2OGs. I'll have the email address. And I just have my personal Facebook page. So everybody have a wonderful day. If you're where it's cold and snowy, stay warm. If you're where it's sunny and warm, I'm jealous. Talk to you later.